<laughs> I'll take you it. You sure fucking kill his ass. I'll take it for once, especially after getting kicked off the internet like twice. <sighs> the other one uh, takes a bit of a shock as his as his part. As does this boy down here. Was it like a hive mind? A little bit. They're connected to each other. Interesting. Is that your turn, Christina? Um. Hmm. I think she'll have to healing word herself because she's pretty bad. <laughs> Yes. Yes, she is. Okay. Alright. Go ahead. The healing word is ow. <laughs> Alright. Well, that rolls. We're just going to go ahead and do Sudoku. <laughs> Please. While we wait for that to go. Sudoku, uh, go ahead. Peek around the corner and uh, go ahead and shoot the uh, drow that's down here. Alright. Go ahead. 16 will not hit him. Uh, nor will a 17, actually. Oh, But damn. the 26 will hit him. Um, so that is 24 damage. Yep, and I'll back back up. Alrighty. So, Meat Grinder looks at the ice wall created, turns, his, I, his spikes scraping against it, and charges right back this way. Slams into the wall up here. Oh, wow. He rolled like shit on uh, his damage. So, he doesn't manage to kill any of the Warforged he passes by. But they do look a lot worse after he's done with them. He also completely misses the drow. But the meat grinder slams into... Deals a whopping 25 damage to himself from the... Oh, I almost forgot what the meat grinder can do. <laughs> but manages to keep himself from being stuck in the wall. This one looks like a bit of a bit more polished, so to speak, than the last one you fought. The last one was distinctly rickety and easy to push around and do things like knock into pits. This one is fully formed and has seven very fleshy bodies hanging off its spikes. As it turns its head with a grinding screech towards the lot of you. And you hear a growl from it. So, Diggeroy! What's that? Indeed. Um, I'm going to cast Heat Metal on the uh, big boy. All right.
he takes half damage. Yeah. I was going to back up a bit. The rock that was crawling around on the surface of him recedes a little, but is still there with the heat metal spell. Mm-hmm. The outcast is just going to keep his ice wall up and stay behind his uh, wall. Stay safe. That seems like a smart thing for him to do. Bauer, you're up. Alright. Fails again. And that will kill him. We will go ahead and eliminate him. As the other boy will take another nine psychic damage. Anything else? Nope. Uh, Cresona, you're up. Okay. Hmm. Um. Oh, crap. This could be... Hmm. Wait, so the... Spiky boy is not stuck. It can get to us from there, can it? Apparently. He'll have a rough time, like, moving along this curved passage. He's kind of big for it, but yeah. Okay. Um. Then. I think. Hmm. Oh, everything is concentration. Everything is concentration. Uh, no. Well, let's just go take some stones out of her pocket and chuck a magic stone at it. All right. Roll them. I'm probably going to die if I can't win up on that thing. Well, there is that side passage that you're right next to. Oh. A 17 will not hit 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 him. Yeah, it will surprised. bounce off of his arm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. Keep back in the side passage real quick and keep an eye on this All thing. Right. Alrighty. Sadok, so, you're up. A 20. Six will hit him both times. The 14 will bounce off his armor. And you will scatter into there. Alrighty. So that is 27, 31, 51 damage. Nice, nice. He is angry the growling from the meat grinder gets louder speaking of 
he manages to scrape his way along the walls until he reaches Bower. Now, he does not have enough room to charge up for his charge attack. But he's still going to make a couple of attacks. Twenty-three hit you, power. Yes. So that is all bludgeoning damage as he raises his spiked fists and slams them down into you again and again. Oof, that's rough. Yeah, if that had been me, she'd just be flat out dead. <laughs> I only have the minus two still, right? Yeah, okay. Yep. Not quite dead yet. Alright, good to hear. That is his turn, so... Diggeroy, you're up. I'm just actually do that again. Alrighty. Sorry, that should be lower, but um, he makes a uh, 17 on the die anyways. So the rot recedes into a... So there is barely any rot crawling around on the surface of him, at least on the parts you could really reach. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, I will move up and I will attack with a green flame blade. Alrighty. I'll have the parrot give him a quick distraction to give me advantage. All right, a 26 will most definitely hit him, and you get that sweet 12. 12 total, but six of that is fire. All right. Surface rot's looking more or less gone right now. There's definitely still a lot festering in him, but nothing that would explode off of him and uh, infect you guys. Okay. Fortunately, I can't do the heat metal and the heal in the same turn, so... That is what I got. Alrighty. So... The outcast He's gonna do some things. He's gonna do some things down where he is. That's what he's gonna do. Very well. Yep, he's gonna do some things and they're gonna be pretty fucking successful.
Don't worry. I'm sure it'll all be fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. And uh, that's his turn. Hey, Bauer. What's up? Nothing good. That is accurate. going to attempt to push him back five feet. All righty. Oof. You try, but he's a bit too strong and a bit too stuck into the walls of this corridor for you to manage it, unfortunately. All right, I'll do my first attack and do my channel divinity. All right. Good choice. So, with your War God's Blessing, that becomes a 22. So that... And if you so choose, you could dump Mage Crasher into him without, uh, without having Rod explode on you. Well, first things first, I was going to drop a menacing on him. Ah, and, excellent choice. And also drop the five charges of Mage Crasher into him. All right. Roll for roll your damage for menacing. Nice. He will fail on uh, your menacing smite. It would appear that despite its intimidating exterior appearance, the meat grinder is not immune to fear. What's the second attack there for? Second sword oh, right. attack? Right, right, right. Uh, 17 will not hit him, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, but he is frightened of you. A plus. All right. Chris Stona. You are up. I think I might have forgotten to take off the advantage. Shit. Uh. <laughs> oh, I did. Okay. Okay. All right. That'll hit him. Raffy damage. That will hit. Uh, hit the meat grinder. Maybe we should go around. I'm pointing back <laughs> towards this corner. All right, you let everybody else know that. He's looking rough, but uh, he's got corpses to burn. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yep. <laughs> if I had fireball, <laughs> that was exactly what I was thinking. If I had, if, there was somebody where I'd put my fireball if I had one. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because I always expect you guys to have more AoE than you do. Call lightning doesn't yeah. work down here. You're right, it does not. I don't get magical secrets till next level. Oof. 
Oh yeah, shit. Um, Sadok. The next best thing you have is just sharpshooter ranger. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, who uh, needs a fireball when you have all the fucking crits from Sadok? So, question. In Knickknack's magic sack, what kind of save is that? What? Oh, that is what? a... That is a strength save. Alright. That's not gonna work. And it is pretty good at strength. Yeah, save. it's not gonna work. Uh, if I went for the corpses on it, would I just be able to get one corpse? or? Depends on how you, well you roll. You could mm -hmm. for sure knock corpses off it. Um... I mean, you'll have to actually hit them, though. I'm just gonna shoot it. Alright. So the nine will miss. I kind of uh, figured. <laughs> the 25 and the 23 will definitely hit, though. They explode into them, but they do not kick up, crucially, do not kick up clouds of rot for you all to breathe in and suffer from. So that is 27 and 26, 50. He's starting to look bloodied. Alright, I'm going to stay in my little hidey hole here. If you guys want to run the other way, though, I completely understand. In fact, you probably should. Are you sure you shouldn't either? He can't charge me from here. And even if he gets up close, I can Zephyr Strike away. Okay. Not if he blocks the entire entrance to your hidey hole. Just pointing that out. Pretty sure you can move through huge creature spaces. And that's okay. why you get all the way up here and follow, <laughs> follow us. want to say you can. Like, we might be, uh... I like a penalty, but... Moving around to the creature... I might be thinking more of small creatures around large. You can move through a hostile creature's space only if the creature is at least two sizes larger or smaller than you. So you can move through his space. Yeah, see? I can Zephyr Strike away if I need to. Alright. Speaking of, it is his turn. Hi, guys. Hey, Kristana. Yeah. He rolled a three on a d3, going mm -hmm. from top to bottom. Mm-hmm. Yep. The good news is he should he's be frightened. in disadvantage. Aha, that he's is frightened. True. He is. Yes! Yeah. You missed yes, that one. Nice. The bad news is he has two more attacks. Yeah, one still hits. No. Or, yeah, sorry. Yep, down. <laughs> so, Bauer being there manages means that he manages to... He's too distracted to pull off two of his punches. But the one he does get connects real well. 
Luckily, not instantly dead, though. Luckily. He will then reach up to one of the spikes on his armor and grab one of the corpses of one of the mercenaries off it. Lean his head back, open his jaws, and just drop it right in and crunch through the bones on it. That'll recover some health. These other guys are going to... Diggeroy, you're up. First thing, a little healing word. At first level, Christona. All right, Christona, you're back up with seven. Thank you. Then I'll make a regular. There's still no like visible rod on the outside of him, right? Correct. Okay, then I'll make a couple of attacks at him. All right. Uh, first one with the parrot helping. All righty. I'm going to throw a defensive flourish on that. All righty. That, that 21 will hit. Two extra. 21 hits, right? Yep. All right, I got two extra AC, and then like my second attack. That will also hit. Seven more. All righty. He's starting to look pretty rough. It's the outcast's turn. He's going to do some more things. Yep. He'll do the things. Mess. He will sure do the things. Power. Meat grinder's looking rougher than he was before. Still not great. Alrighty. 23 will hit. He is continually frightened. How many superiority dice do you have, dude? I have seven total. I have two left. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your uh, menacing attack damage. Alrighty. Then plus two from Mage Crash for that. Alright. And then... And then? And then nothing. Yeah, he Cause... literally can't roll lower than that. Still 1d8, right? Yep. He also literally cannot roll lower than that, but we'll see if he gets a... Well, worst case, it's a tie, right? So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but a tie would be in a roll-off. 
but he rolls a three, so he gets a 16. So he is not prone or shoved backwards. That's it. All right. Christina, you are prone but alive. Yeah. Yes. You're going to stand up. Uh, this thing looks pretty rough, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, you know, bloodied. Well, of course it is. Um... Hmm. At this point, I just want to get rid of it. Because my flame blade is gone, damn it. Uh, those will both hit him. You crack him twice with your staff. He's starting to look. And just like looks over his shoulder. So dog. Yeah. No, Speaking of, what I can do. Sadok. Those will all three hit him. <laughs> Men, group up and hit it till it dies. <laughs> um. 21, 19, 19, 38. Uh, fucking 59. Hey, Sadok. Yep. How do you want to do this, my dude? <laughs> uh, presumably, as he opens his mouth to swallow another one of the corpses, just fires yep. iron bolts. Straight down the throat. Oh yeah. As he's uh, preparing on his turn to reach out and grab all of his other corpses. And he opens up his mouth. Your bolts stream down his throat. And explode the fuck out of him. Now, you are all right next to him as he's dying. So I would like to request that, as he dies, you all make con saves as Rot explodes from his body. Yeah. Don't forget you have Bless. Oh yeah. You do have Bless, yeah. I turned it on at least. <laughs> uh, Diggeroy and Cristona... I will use my inspiration. Yep. Oof. Diggeroy, Cristona, you both have rot on you. Cristona, it starts working its way into your fungus. Um, Bauer, you're fine. You kill it. A plus. Um, you're a rock, Bauer. You're a rock. Did healing help get rid of it? I can't remember. Sue. So, um, you're not exactly out of initiative. From down below, where uh, the ice wall went up, and where you heard the outcast yelling from, you start hearing devilish cackling, which is then echoed by a much louder much deeper laugh. 
<laughs> well, fuck. As you hear the, or the stomp of another devil's feet. That's where we're going to end for the night, I think. Ooh. So, yeah. Well, shit. That's, uh... If you live, next uh, next session should be the end of sewer time. Right. I mean, even if we don't live, it'll be the end of sewer time. You're correct. That is it true. That's the so sort of much positivity. That's the sort of optimistic attitude I expect from you. Unless we then have to play the people who have to take our bodies out of the sewer. Why would I make you play sewer workers? I mean, you gotta start somewhere when you're adventuring. You always go down in the sewers after rats. Who's I? I mean, there's a difference between sending you, you in after rats and sending you in for the bodies of uh, adventurers that were mauled by a devil. Well, I mean, you go down to the sewers for the rats and you usually end up finding the bodies of previous adventures anyway. Where do you True. think you get your starting loot? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, yeah, do we get to loot our corpses like Dark Souls? <laughs> I mean, sure, if you die and you really want. <laughs> if you want to start in Regilium, though, you will all have to be Italian people. Which could be fabulous. Italian people? Yeah. Regilium may or may not be Fantasy Venice. Okay. I can I can speak with my hands. <laughs> I mean, that's three quarters oh of the way there. Perform flop. <laughs> <laughs> Could have just been tourists. <laughs> True. You could be, but... It's so much less fun than forcing you all to be Italian. I don't know. I mean, can you really do like an Italian impression over Discord? Like, you can't see the hands. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You're missing like half of the accent. We don't need videos for this. That's true. We would. That's or we can true. just put up a gif of the uh, like wacky waving inflatable arm.